What's up, everybody? This is Fresno Guillermo. I'm telling you everything you need to know to get ready for the 2014 World Series San Francisco Giants versus the Kansas City Royals. Obviously, I got a Giants slant to my problems. Problems. To my viewpoint, to my perspective. I don't know, man. I talk real fast when I make this video. So this is take two. Hopefully, it goes a little bit smoother than take one. There's a couple things I forgot to get in there, and it's kind of disjointed. Just go with it, okay? Follow me. Follow me. All right, listen. Everybody's been making a big deal about Kansas City uh, Royals bullpen, okay? One of the best bullpens ever. Shut down. Awesome. HDH. All right, you got Herrera. I believe it's Davis. And then it's Holland as the closer, okay? Those guys have been going nuts. Here's a stat for you, okay? Kansas City Royals, those three guys pitch 14% of all pitchers' innings during the regular season. In the postseason, that's up to 32%. Those are tight arms, all right? Eight games are in a row or not. Those are tight arms, baby. Something's going to happen to one of those guys. Once the Giants punch one of those kids in the mouth, that's going to be a whole cloud bubble bursting, 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 flirsting for the Kansas City Royals in their dugout. It's going to spell bad news. Second of all, let's throw some numbers at you here because I did some homework, okay? Kansas City Royals, relievers, ERA in the postseason, 1.80. Very good. Solid. Super impressive. San Francisco Giants, ERA in the postseason, 1.78. Boom. Argument negated. Plus, there's a lot of experience on the Giants side. Not to count rings. I only got one. It's my wedding ring. Shut up. More importantly to that fact, though, okay, this is what I want to talk about. San Francisco Giants starting pitchers ERA in the postseason, 2.40. You know what the Royals is? 3.80. I know they're in the American League. You got an extra DH. You got to face that. I'll have the DH argument in just a second here. But 3.80, it's not going to matter how good that bullpen is if they don't, if the starters don't leave the game. Most of the starters haven't gone past six innings. I don't know the numbers. I had it. I had it in my head a lot of while ago. Not very many in the postseason have gone past six innings. Okay, so they're basically going on those three guys reliably seven, eight, nine. Remember, once upon a time, Dusty Baker went to the seven, eight, nine relievers every single game in the postseason. Eventually, it bit him in the butt. Game six of the 2002 World Series. I don't want to talk about it. <sighs> Sorry. Okay, if the Royals don't have a lead when the starter leaves and hands it over to the bullpen, all the bullpen's doing is trying to keep the game close. Okay. No team has done that to the Royals yet so far. That's another big thing I want to talk about, people, okay? The Royals are young, dumb, and full of you-know-what. I don't want to say it because I want to get lots of views in this video. We're keeping it clean. But they are. They don't know any better. They're 8-0, bunch of new guys, bunch of rookies, bunch of young guys. Everything's been going great. Everything's been going roses. We win, we win, we win, we win. We're unbeatable. We're unstoppable. We're the best ever. Doesn't matter. Listen. Giants. All you got to do is win one game, baby. Got to win one game. Then all of a sudden, oh, then we'll see how the Royals react to a loss in the postseason. Then we'll see how they do with a little bit of pressure, a little bit of, well, we better get this next one. And that's what I'm talking about. Madison Bumgarner, game one. It's 2-0 in the World Series, a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 ERA over his career. He's a stud on the road, especially in the postseason. Giants win game one. Oh, man, that just blows up the whole Royals plan right there. Because guess what? Madison Bumgarner's coming back in game five. If Giants, if Madison Bumgarner wins both his starts, Giants got two games, all right, sorry, they got five games to win twice. That is easily attainable, my friends. The Royals, we haven't seen them how they react yet. I know a lot of people have been talking about this on TV, about punching them in the face, see how they react, you know what I mean, punching them in the mouth, see what they do. It matters. It matters. Adversity, okay? They haven't had to deal with it so far. Plus, they've had six-game layoffs. I know the Giants have had a five-game layoff. It's only a one-game difference. The Giants are veterans, most of them. Most of the squad has been there before. Even the guys that haven't been there, Peavy, uh, Huddy, some of these older cats, okay? They still, they're veterans. Michael Morse, they know, they've been in the game for a little while, okay? They know what to do. They can call people. They can talk to people. They know how to deal with things. The other Royals can make phone calls too, okay? But six games, a lot of time to sit there and think about how great your season's been and how super duper everything is. And I think it hurts the Royals that they're not traveling for game one. Giants eat up some of that downtime in between the NLCS and the World Series with a travel day. And I love the fact that they flew in, they went straight to the ball park, and they went straight to the batting cage. They didn't go to the hotel. They didn't go get no Oklahoma Joes, brisket, Z-Man burger like I did. Woo, that stuff is legit. You ever end up at KC, man, you got to get the Z-Man. That's what's up. It's all business. San Francisco Giants. Let's talk about the DH. I mentioned that a second ago, didn't I? Billy Butler, he's a number five hitter pretty much all year long for the Kansas City Royals, okay? He disappears in games three, four, and five. The crucial games three, four, and five of the National League ballpark where there is no DH. Conversely, the Giants gain a DH. So they didn't lose that pitcher spot, which is usually a bunting type situation in the National League. You play small ball. They're going to gain Michael Morris. Michael Morris is a bopper, okay? Not going to have a great batting average. 
but he has home run power, as witnessed in the NLCS in his pinch hit at bat, okay? He can come in. He strengthen, strengthens the Giants lineup when we're in the, National, in the American League ballpark. When the National League ballpark comes in, you lose Billy Butler. Now, Billy Butler is only hitting 222 in the postseason, okay? He has five RBIs, though. But he's the number five hitter. He's much protection in there. He's a strong at-bat. He's not going to replace Moustakas at third. He's not going to replace Hosmer at third. He becomes a pinch hitter, okay? And that is a big part of their, excuse me, big part of the Royals' uh, bullpen lineup, big part of their team is having Billy Butler in there, okay? He's the most experienced, tenured Royal. He's been an all-star. He's a big-time player, okay? Second thing about National League ballparks, okay? A lot of people have been talking about this on TV as well. You've got to do the double switch, okay? Kansas City Royals keep bringing in uh, pinch runners, pinch runners, pinch runners when it suits them, when they need to, okay? But now you've got to think about, wait, if I burn this guy, then I have the pitcher spot coming up. Now I have to burn another guy. That bench gets short real quick. Ned Yost, not very successful in the National League. Uh, ball, uh, as a manager of the Milwaukee Brewers, definitely give the hand up to Bruce Bochy. I'm not even going to touch on that, though. Obviously, manager Bruce Bochy has the edge up on him there. Um, San Francisco Giants, since 2010, 2012, and 2014, those three years, their playoff runs, their world champion runs, two of those three years, we'll see about this one, okay, they won seven of, seven of nine times, they won the first game in the series, okay, when they lost to Cincinnati in 2012, they lost the first two games, they still won that series, they lost the St. Louis Cardinals, they lost the first game, they went down 3-1, they obviously still won that series, okay, Giants win the first game road game, that's what I'm talking about, Madison Bumgarner, he's going to come out and he's going to do it, okay, once they do that, they put all the pressure on Kansas City Royals, they take it all off themselves, Giants are road warriors. They do this. Seven out of nine times in the postseason, they win the first game on the road. That is ridiculous. That is hard to do. That is what's up to people. They may not be all on the road. I know seven out of nine times they won the first game of the series. They may not be all on the road. It's probably like, uh, I don't know, five out of seven, something like that. I'm sorry. That's, that's a misleading stat. I apologize. Okay, I'm at seven minutes right now. I don't care. It's a long video. You're going to watch it because you love Gears, Fresno, Guillermo, you love San Francisco Giants baseball. August. Royals got us in August. They did. We were five and eight coming in that game. They were nine and three coming in that game. All right, like that was, we were just we were down. They were up. Okay. They beat Mad Bum four two. They beat Huddy five zero. They beat Linscom seven to four. Okay. Linscom's not going to pitch in the series if he does. It's going to be a relief token relief appearance. I would actually really much like to see Tim Linscom pitch game four instead of Vogel song. I think it'd be a nice gesture. I really do. I think that especially if they come out if they're up a three zero. Hey, give it to Linska, man. Let him do it, dude. Let him do it. Why not? Timmy Slim, Timmy, Tim, Jim. So what can you say about that? Yeah, the Royals got us. We were slumping. They were on a roll. They're a good team. I'm not saying they're not a good team. They're a good team. Okay? But what I take away from that is that we've been in that ballpark. We played in that ballpark. Okay? That's another huge advantage that I'm touching on right here. Okay? Is those Royals outfielders have not played in Pac Bell Park. Okay? They're great, but that's a lot of coverage that's a lot of area to cover I'm putting down my numbers that's a lot of area to cover and it's a lot of uh, right field is tricky right center field is, is impossible center field is big and deep okay we've seen it happen time and time again especially American League teams they come in or it's an uh, outfielder playing his first games in Pac Bell Park it is ridiculous it is wonky it is hard to do if you don't have the regular reps Kansas City Royals ballpark Kauffman Stadium pretty much a traditional little uh, half moon situation out there in the outfield Giants have played out there three games this year. They hung out. They got a chance to look at it. Don't forget, Pablo Sandoval hitting a home run in the All-Star game that was hosted in Kansas City a couple years ago. Listen, these are my closing arguments here. Okay? I'm not a greedy fan. I'm not. I'm going to speak from my heart. There's my heart right there. It's a big S. Is it a G? I don't know what side my heart's on. It's in the middle. Who cares? I'm not greedy. Okay? Giants have made the World Series again. They've won it twice. Okay? This is their third World Series trip in five years. I mean, that, that enough is just, it's it. that's, en that's enough for me as a fan. That's enough for me, okay? Like, it speaks to the to ownership. It speaks to the GM. It speaks to just the front office. It speaks to the personnel. It speaks to Bruce Bochy, Hall of Fame manager Bruce Bochy, okay? Players want to come there. We got homegrown talent. It's a family atmosphere. These guys love each other. They, go, they fight to death for each other. The roster keeps changing, okay? Look at the role Linsicum played in the first World Series. Look at the role Kane played in the second World Series. They're probably not even going to be factors in this World Series, okay? I got nothing against Kansas City. Kansas City's a good baseball town. Kansas City Monarchs, Monarchs in the Negro Leagues. Man, I had a KC hat. I had a black KC hat for the Monarchs, dude. That's, that was what's up, dude. Actually, no, the Homestead Graves were black. Kansas City Monarchs was like uh, that red stuff. I didn't have that. I had the Homestead Graves hat because it had a G on it, maybe a G. Anyways, okay? If the Royals win... 
Dude, I think it'd be good for baseball. Small market team. It's been 29 years. Royals fans, for the most part, have been great people. They're nice. They're happy. I got nothing against them. All right? But here's the thing. I'm listening to the sports talk out here. I'm reading articles. Okay? I don't know about nationally, but locally, they're giving us no credit, man. They're saying that the Giants just that were average, that were mediocre. Their bullpen's way better than our bullpen. They play defense way better than our defense. Their starting pitcher is better than our starting pitcher. Their manager is better than our manager. Their colors are better than our colors. Okay, it's like they haven't been watching baseball the last five years. Okay, they're going to be another team in the long line of succession of teams that have lost to the Giants in the postseason the last few years. That walk away frustrated, angry, scratching their head, can't even understand what happened. Okay, Giants, they play hard. They know how to win. Yeah, they might be a little bit lucky, but you know what? Name me a championship team that hasn't had some sort of luck in some way, okay? Luck is where hard work meets opportunity, all right? They're not respecting us, just like every other team. We couldn't beat Cliff Lee. We beat him twice in 2010. We couldn't deal with Justin Verlander. Pablo Sandoval, three home runs in that first game of the World Series, okay? Rose don't even have a killer like that. All they got is just a good stretch of baseball at an opportune time, okay? Five days off is a long time to sit there and think about how great you are, and to just have all the adulation and all the uh, whatever creep in your head, you got to deal with family wanting tickets for the first time. You got to deal with national interviews all day, like that you've never had to deal with before. Giants in five, baby. Another world championship. Three out of five. I'm going to get a t shirt that says Dynasty. And if the Giants win this World Series, I don't care who you are. You cannot say nothing to me as far as baseball goes. You can't say nothing. I ain't listening because it's all Giants all day. Home, baby. Let's go get it. Oh, wow!